bro. More PSA orders. This time we come back to earth just a little bit. We're not grading any modern stuff in this order, or at least like not pack fresh modern. So we're gonna start it off with a beautiful PSA 8 MJ. This is not gonna be an order that is gonna have a significantly high, high uh, gem rate. I think we're at 56% for this order, 64 total cards. And dude, why do they not make cards like this anymore? This is so freaking, this is old school sports flicks. Like, I mean, you just look at all these different cards. I mean, this is Upper Deck. Upper Deck wasn't known for like 90s cool inserts, but this is wild, baby. Favorite adjective. There's no other adjective in today's generation. It's wild. A couple cards they did not grade. I, I think this is BS. I don't know why they didn't grade this. This is the Power Deck card. It's an insert, comes from a pack. I mean, I don't know why they didn't grade it. They said they don't hold it, holder it. I mean, I don't care if you give it a one. I just want to get it graded. And this is 0 for 2 now on these Griffies. So I am buying some fakes, apparently. I had no idea that those things were fake. So those are some really good fakes if they are getting faked. I mean, really, really good. All right, let's get the train going because we're starting off, starting off like a little sputtery, you know. Not, not doing so great compared to the previous things that you've all been seeing. So first up, Rockstars PSA 8. I think if you get eight or nine on these, you're doing good. Ding corner down there. Didn't expect much. Okay with it though. Uh, eight is, eight's great. Eight is great on MJ, I'll, I'll say that. But baby, nine is fine. I mean, 10 is, I can't think of a good word to rhyme with 10. Um, 10 is, <laughs> can't think of it. everything that comes to mind is too dirty to say uh kobe psa 9 i think i think that one is not sold psa 9 finest mj very rarely grade the 98 it's not as clean as the previous years but uh again nine's fine nine is fine on 90s mj like there's at least on on most 90s mj let's just put it that way um this one's kind of cool I legit thought that this had a great shot at getting Jim Mint. It came back a nine, a okay. Uh, it has been sold, so we gotta pull this for the person who has bought it. Gotta ship that out today. Then we've got, oh, did I get these out of order? Uh, maybe a little bit. Dang, I did not wanna get these out of order, but you could see one of these cards first. I wanna set that one to the side. I wanna get these in order. I really don't want to mess these up. All right, so the next one is a Griffey Milestone. This is the second one of these I believe that I've graded, or I've graded a bunch of finest stuff. Maybe this is not the second one, but I've graded a bunch of finest stuff lately, and they've all come back to So I've done really good. It's number 1400, really, really swell. Uh, the first card of this grouping is gonna be this one. So, MJ and the Kang, the Kang. PSA 9, beautiful card, but of course this one's better. The 10s, 10s for the MJ. I mean, of course, you, you need 10s for the Kang, but 10s for MJ is just, just, ooh, it's a masterpiece. Beautiful card. Next, we've got, uh, that may be one of my favorite ones. I love that dunking pose. That is so nice. All right, what card number was that? That was card number six. That one's a good one, because it's got classic MJ. This one's just, this is, Let's see, is he wearing Jordan 11s? Yeah, that's 95, 96 MJ, baby. Mm. And those are the Space Jams. They're not the playoffs. He's wearing Space Jams. And, dude, I love these cards. These are so cool, uh, mainly because of MJ. But that one's got some wrinkles and dings. I actually bought all these from a consigner. So lately I've kind of been gambling a little bit. I've been getting into the consigner space and buying some cards from consigners and you know taking some gambles and I actually think that some of these have kind of paid off a little bit. Now, you're gonna see a lot of nines here. That's fine, you know, no big deal. Nines are fine on MJ. Um, and these are kind of cool, I love these cards. These are great, seeing a lot of these. We've got a, another nine. Case has got a little bit of a scratch on it. Burp, burp, burp. Next, P oh man. Dude, they've got so many of these from 95, 96. 95, 96 is my favorite MJ. That era MJ, that's my favorite MJ. Like, he's entering that just mastermind. Uh, he, he knows how to use his body. He knows how to 
you know, back you down. He know, he's still explosive, he can still fly, but he is a genius on the basketball court. Just a basketball, he is entering basketball savant status. First MJ pre-baseball, he just overpowered you with, with athleticism and just a, a will to win. Here's another card number one. Card number one, man, just a dunking pose. Just, man, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love me some MJ. Next, we've got card number four. Eh, they're just, <laughs> everything that comes to mind is just not, I can't say it on TV, or I can't say it on camera. <laughs> Just can't say it. This is card number five, PSA nine. Ooh, the stack's getting sideways. Uh, this one is card number eight. This is a PSA nine. I like this Duncan pose too. That's a really good one. Very, very nice. In the 10, I believe I have sold. So that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I, li I like that one. So the buyer did well on that. That's a good pose. And I think that guy who bought it from me is actually trying to complete the set. This is card number seven. I like this. Got a nice little fadeaway, nice little jump shot. Look at the form. Look at the hands, the, pl the hand placement on the ball, the perfect release. Nice little pocket. Just, man, just perfect basketball player. Perfect, perfect. Even today, whenever I play pickup, it's just, it's remarkable to think that at his age, even in 97, 98, he was still playing at that caliber for that that longevity, not missing games, you know, 40 minutes a night. It's, yeah. And he played it, as quickly as you, you can play and still maintain proper, perfect mechanics. Just the perfect basketball player. Travis Kelsey Red, number 250. Great card. And it is sold as well. Next up, we got Yanni. This is a, haven't not graded any Yannis in a while. And this is one of the first rookies I've graded in a while. It came back PSA 10. So was a big grader of these back in the day when nobody else was, before all of the copies that were clean kind of dried up. But occasionally you'll still find one that looks pretty good. So that's one that looks pretty good. Next, we got old Patty Cakes. Even if it's Leaf, even if it's Brian Gray's company, we're still gonna be grading some of these bad boys because I mean, why not? Why not? It's Patty Cake. Even if it is a Brian Gray Leaf special, it's a Patty Cake rookie card. So the worst card in the order, this one, I got a great Patty Cake coming up, by the way. Great, that's a great segue for a great Patty Cake. <laughs> great segue for a great, great Patty Cake. And... Who knows, I, I butchered that, I don't know. Next up, we got Luca, Lulu. This one's great. Tough to grade these because of surface. That acetate, mm, tough, just tough, tough, tough. This card rattles, I don't know if you can hear that. Got a little rattle, not a big fan of that. No rattle there. Oh, Shohei don't rattle, he's not rattled. <laughs> he's MVP. More than likely, he's going to be MVP. At least I think he's going to be MVP. I mean, lately, he's kind of been in a little bit of a slump. You know, he's just carrying the team on his shoulder. You know, he needs to get his teammates back healthy. Looks like Freddie Freeman's back. Mookie needs to get back. Um, pitching needs to stay healthy. That way, they can make a run in the playoffs. This time of the year, Otani kind of breaks down because he's just backpacking every team he's on. Like, can't count on Trout. Can't count on Mookie. Can't count on Freddie. I mean... Otani's just doing everything, man. Right now, he just can't pitch because, I mean, he, he literally broke his arm. He broke his arm last year trying to just carry and do everything. But right now, his legs work, and he's carrying with his legs, and he's carrying with his arms in terms of having to swing swing the bat. So, you know, oh, Shohei's doing everything he can. Never a bad time to buy Shohei. You just keep buying Shohei. You know, it's like, as Warren Buffett would say, it's Coca-Cola stock. It's Seeds candy, <laughs> peanut brittle. Um, yeah, never a bad tone to buy Shohei. Just keep keep throwing money at him. Doesn't matter if it's up, doesn't matter if it's down. Just great time to buy Shohei as always. That's just what I think. Always, always, always. And look at these. Got all of these from the same seller. We listed a bunch of them raw earlier this year. We're, I guess, a couple months ago, whenever it was. And we on, we, we are on a hot streak here, baby. <laughs> we are on a Shohei streak. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. 10, 10, 10, 10. 
Got so many of these bad boys. Power producers, tin. Although not technically called refractors, all these have the refractor pattern in parallel. So just makes them even shinier and even better. What would make Bowman's Best so much better is that they went back to their origins, just like all chrome cards at Topps Mix today, and had etching, etching number one. But secondly, Bowman's Best to me is known for chrome pinstripes. If you look at 1995 Bowman's Best, pinstripes. If you look at 1996, Bowman's Best. Got some, I'm trying to think, does that have pinstripes? If you go back to some of these early releases, they do have that pinstripe type pattern. I just, I just like that. So need a little bit more texture, need etching, get back to the original roots of the brand, and maybe that brand will be revived. It used to be literally Bowman's Best. Now it's basically Bowman's Worst. Make it Bowman's Best, make Bowman great again. Just make Bowman great again. Can we do that? Can we? This election season, can we put that on the ballot? Can we make Bowman great again? Let's just all get, you know, send what all the improvements that we need to Michael Rubin and see if he can make Bowman great again. And what that also means is the Bowman guarantee. We want the Bowman guarantee to return, which means that if you open the wax and if you don't get an anticipated value back, they're gonna give you money back. Remember that Bowman guarantee, you get $125 back if you open this box. You don't, if you don't get value back, you get 125 bucks. That did not last long. <laughs> that did not last long. Let me know down below if you all remember that guarantee. Man, would that be something. At least $500 hobby boxes now, $600 boxes, whatever they are. Can you imagine if they had guarantees well, Tyler, they're not gonna do that. It's legalized gambling. Of course, of course, not gonna return. Oh man, they use them thick cases for them Caitlins. <laughs> thick cases for them Caitlins. Oh man, I love it. Love this case. Feels so good. PSA 10, and of course that one's out, you know, getting graded. I think I got a bunch of these out of order. Not all that upset about it. Actually, are they out of order? No, they're not out of order. Maybe they, I don't know. Uh, Best card in the order, by far, baby. Let's go! Patrick Mahomes, forget McCall Hardman, Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey. And I think the Travis Kelsey might be a single color patch, like a legitimate patch. I think all these might be legitimate patches except Patrick Mahomes, this is a jersey. Yes, I actually think they might be patches. Man, beautiful. I know it's not game used. I know it's just off the Fanatics rack or back then it was Walmart. Now it's Fanatics. Uh, I get it. I get it. I get it. But this is a National Treasures quad memorabilia napkin jersey PSA 10 number 99 of Patty Cakes, the goat, Travis Kelsey, the goat, Tyree Kill, the... I mean, fill in whatever you want for him. It's just, it's kind of, you know, a roulette wheel at this point of kind of how you want to define Tyreek Hill. It could be good, could be bad. Next, we got CJ Stroud, autograph rookie. Let's go. Even though it's from Brian Gray's Leaf product, we'll take it because that's all we can get right now. That's all we can get. Next up, Caitlin Clark, PSA nine. Beautiful little nine, beautiful. Fine nine, fine nine indeed. Next, we've got pink. Pretty pink, Caitlin. Let's go. These cards have skyrocketed in value. I, it is blowing my mind that these cards continue to go up. This is a very interesting case scenario. We could explore this a little bit deeper in a different video, but this is a perfect example of constrained and constricted supply and outsized demand that has not disappeared and there's not been any supply to hit the market. Pupini is now starting to crank out a bunch of junk and it's all doo-doo because the quality on it is horrible. There's surface scratches on it everywhere. I won't buy another card. I only bought a handful just to see what the quality is gonna be like and it is bad, it is so bad. So all the good stuff is basically the old Bowman University stuff. Depending on the year, it's good quality, but it's uh, the good quality stuff starting to dry up. But 
all that demand is still there and it's saying, we want Caitlin, we want Caitlin, we want Caitlin, and there's no new product, there's no WNBA licensed product, it's all Panini instant crap and that box set stuff, it's all junk quality, bad conditions. I mean, somebody might, one of the little girls might want to collect it, that's fine, that's, that's what it's there for. But in terms of like buying and grading, not a fan. This right here, I, it, I'm amazed. I mean, these things are going like over 500 bucks now. It is mind boggling. It's bonkers. Next, we have got Rookie Revolution, Victor Wimiyama. This is the Galactic. So this came in one of my videos I did recently showing some of the cards I'm picking up. And this one came back in nine and it is now sold. I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with the grade. I thought for sure it'd probably be, be a nine and came back a nine. I'm just glad it wasn't worse than nine. It's great. Then next up, we've got a Contenders Rookie of the Year. This is the first time I'm laying eyes on grades that I get back from Contenders. I'm very, very happy with this because I've got a lot more of this out getting graded. And I think the early ones are gonna do pretty well in terms of resale value, first to market, that kind of thing. So I've got, I'm one of the first ones to get a lot of this stuff back out and listed. So uh, Supernatural, I love, that's a, that's a beautiful looking card, man. I, Dude, I gotta give it to Pupini. I gotta give it to Pupini. There may be a vacuum of inserts that are not met by Tops whenever Pupini goes away. It would absolutely be met by modern day Fleer, who Upper Deck owns. Upper Deck, if they had the license, would be able to meet the demands of the basketball consumer in a way that no one else can. I'm happy that Tops is coming back, don't get me wrong. But this is just a beautiful card that Tops is not going to be able to mimic. In addition to that, Pupini is wiping the floor whenever it comes to Chrome cards compared to Tops. Granted, 2014, 2024 Bowman was a great little, hey, you know, we can improve our quality and it can be good. And it was pretty decent quality, I will say. But man, man, these Pupini inserts. They, they do have a pretty good Pupini game whenever it comes to inserts. It's just all the elephants and zebras and, and all the other BS. I mean, Tops does the same thing, so I'm really talking to both of them. Uh, next, License Dominate. Dude, he ain't got, he's got a license to retire, bro. I mean, his beard's already gray. If you watch him in the U, in USA, his beard's gray. He's not dominating. It's, it's Steph Curry. The Kang needs to hang it up. Needs to hang it up. But I got two of these, just in case there's King fans out there, you know, I got some cards that you might want. So hopefully you like that. All right, that's all I got. I got more cards I gotta do. I'm slowly releasing these videos. I'm wearing the same clothes. I got cards over there. I'm gonna do another video because I got so many of them. PSA just blowing up my mailbox lately and blowing up my credit card. I can't sell these cards faster than they're coming in. So is what it is. All right, we'll see you next time.